Hey, hola, buenos dias. <laughs> no, I'm not fluent. Take, it's going to take me a little longer than a few days in Costa Rica. Listen, if you want to lose 20 pounds, your first 20 pounds, if you have more than 20 pounds, a lot of people I've been talking to recently have more than 20 pounds, 30, 40, 50, 100 plus pounds. And I want to share with you in three simple steps how you can lose your first 20 pounds. And you know what the really cool thing about the first 20 pounds is you could do it for the second 20 pounds and you can do it for the third 20 pounds so listen up taking a nice walk beautiful morning here the beach is that way the mountains are this way as soon as i get up here i'll show you the mountains turn around it's kind of quiet a little sleepy so your first 20 pounds i'm going to share with you actually what i did what worked for me in my fitness journey to help lose 20 pounds and what has happened to help hundreds and hundreds of people. Three simple steps, three simple steps. Step number one, step number one. <laughs> it's the probably hardest step for most people, at least not knowing how to take that first step. And that's exactly what it is, is actually starting. You see, the biggest thing that typically gets in the way from people losing that first 20 pounds is kind of what you call failure to launch, or they just don't start. They actually don't start. And a lot of reasons that come up, maybe they've tried before and failed. Maybe they're afraid that they don't know what to do. They don't want to get hurt. Like they've heard people, you hear all the stories of people that go on weight loss journeys and they lose 20 pounds and then they put it back on and they lose 20 pounds. And you're like, why even bother? So many people fail on it, right? New Year's resolutions are already done. You got to wait till next January to start them back up again. But really the first thing, the first and foremost is to start. And when you start, a couple of things to consider when starting is if you did this before, if you tried to lose 20 pounds before and then you ended up failing, you still have that same 20 pounds. In other words, maybe you lost it, put it back on. Maybe you never even took it off. You tried something and you, you, you failed before. And you're like, oh, just screw it. I'll say, well, what if, what if you do something different? Maybe what you did before was not right for you. Maybe you got the wrong information. The reality is when it comes to losing weight, there's a boatload of information, right? Oh, I have to share you this. Literally just beautiful. Check that out. That's for your, for your good morning. How about that, huh? Couldn't help but just share this with you. <laughs> and we got, it was pretty cool actually. When my son was here, my family was here before we skated that skate park. I'm just walking by. It looks like it's open too. Nobody's skating, of course, because it's pretty early here. We're an, early, an hour earlier. So number one is to, to start, actually to start, to get off the fence to get out of your comfort zone and actually start, right? Get up off the couch, turn off Netflix, get off of social media here, right? People tell me all the time, Mark, I just don't have the time. I don't have the time to commit to myself and to losing the weight. It's just hard. I just need to do a quick diet. <laughs> Mind you, I see them online. <laughs> if you check your phone, you know how much time you have? Just go ahead and check your phone and look how much time you spent online. You've spent on Facebook or Instagram or some other sort of social media platform, right? Hey, there's some beautiful mountains back there. Let me just show you. Check that out. Pretty beautiful, right? Okay, so that was number one. Number two, number two, you want to guess what it is? Put it down. And hey, this is a, this is a participation type of daily dose. I want you to participate. Let me know you're here. Say hello. Just say good morning. Let me know you're alive and well. Maybe even if you're not well, you're alive, you're breathing. You're well if you woke up this morning, right? All right. So we have the first one is to start. Then number two is, is the one that nobody likes, and that's dirty reps. You got to put in your dirty reps. You think of repetitions, right? Repetitions. You got to do it over and over again, right? You go to the gym and you lift some weights. You do some push-ups. Maybe you can only do one rep right now, but your goal is maybe to do 25. Well, guess how you get better at doing push-ups? You actually have to do push-ups. So the point is when you're trying to lose 20 pounds, you have to put in your dirty reps. That's just the reality. Anything good that happens, any kind of success that you have, you have to put the effort in to get it. So you got to put in what I call the dirty reps. The reason why I call it dirty reps is because it's not always perfect, right? The first time you do a push-up is probably going to suck. You may not even be able to get down on the ground. You may not even be able to do a push-up from, say, an elevation. Maybe you have to start from your countertop to do push-ups. Then when it comes to eating, maybe you don't eat really healthy. Maybe you have to start with one meal a week that you start to eat healthy. And then maybe you can start to do one, uh, two meals. Maybe you can prep one meal this week. Maybe next week you can prep two meals and then work from there. You got to put in your dirty reps. The way you get better 
at something is actually putting time, they say, to be an expert, right? To be a professional athlete. There's a 10,000 hour rule, right? So you gotta put in 10,000 hours of work in order to be like professional or elite level. So I'm not saying you have to be 10,000 hours into time to lose 20 pounds. In fact, the problem with most people is they've already done the 10,000 hours of trying to lose weight. They just did it the wrong way. They did it the wrong way. They did it by being sold into believing that quick fixes and diet schemes and your friend's weight loss shake and HCG diet and Weight Watchers and the Noom app and all the, the, the ketos and the paleos and the, the fasting and all that stuff. They all can help, but the problem is none of them are sustainable. That's the reason why people fall off and people give up. And that goes to my third one. Number three, the third thing, the third way, the simple. Now I say simple, dirty reps is simple. If you know what you're doing, if you have a plan and you have structure and you have accountability, it's simple to do it, right? A lot of people just, they shoot themselves in the foot because they don't know what to do. They don't know how to do it. And they keep struggling, they keep struggling. My, my question to you is how much longer do you want to struggle? So that's my question. Now, number three, number three. Oh, this one is going to hurt too because I know when you're listening, if you're watching this, and again, if you don't need 20 pounds to lose, then this message isn't for you. You simply don't have to worry about it. You can kind of just move on. You can scroll on. That's not a problem, right? If you're, if you're doing well, if you're doing well with things, you can just move on, scroll down to something else, maybe some motivation, some, something else, right? That's cool. But if you've been stuck in a rut, if you've been struggling with your weight up and down and up and down, whether it be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 plus pounds, I'm telling you it's three simple steps. Now, I never said it was easy. They're simple. They're simple when you have the right tools and the right structure and maybe even the right support. My students in my coaching program get great results because they start the right way. They learn how to do the right dirty reps. You can do the wrong dirty reps, right? You could go to the gym and do workouts that don't get you any results. You can spend hours and hours on a treadmill wondering why you're not losing any more weight. Or you can be, <laughs> you could be getting awesome results, doing the things you want to do. You know, being able to do fun things, go for a bike ride, go for a walk. This isn't even my exercise. You want to see my exercise? I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to finish with that because I brought it with me. I brought a piece of exercise equipment with me just for you. Now, number three, you can't give up. That's it. It's simple. You can't give up. You have to stick with it. Well, Mark, it's really hard. Life is really hard. I know a lot of people struggle. Life is really hard. Now, and I said in my fitness journey, what I struggle with, when I had 20, I was actually 25, close to 30 pounds overweight at one point in my, my journey, if you will, my health journey. And it fluctuated over the years, up and down, stressful moments. But the reason why I was failing is that I wasn't starting. I wasn't doing what I needed to do. So I just didn't start. I was just kind of half-assing it. The second thing, I wasn't putting in my dirty reps. I wasn't consistently eating healthy. I wasn't consistently exercising. I wasn't consistently taking care of my personal health. And then the third thing is I'd give up. I was giving up. Life would get in the way. I'd get stressed out. Let me run across the street. Come here and sit. I'm almost at the beach, actually. Maybe you'll get a little glimpse of the ocean. It was flat yesterday. No surfing. That's right. Went for a long bike ride. All right, here we go. All right, so. So here we are, the three simple steps. You got to start, you got to get off the fence, hop off the fence, get off the fence of normality, get off the fence of what everybody else is doing. Don't become a statistic. Number two, you got to put in your dirty reps, right? Good morning. Good morning to you. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Sharon, Marianne and uh, Renee. Appreciate you. Gail, thanks for chiming in and watching. April, April. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to show you. Let's see here. Right behind me there is the ocean is right back there. I don't know if you can see it like at the end of that road. And uh, man, it's beautiful. Actually, it's the first time I've been here in January and it's quite pleasant. Like I think at, in the afternoon, it gets in the like 80s, low 80s, but it's been really, really nice here. So those are the three things. Number one, you got to start. You got to start right. Don't just start. Oh, Mark, but I've started many times before. Well, if you were to have a conversation with me, did you really start or you just rely on some sort of quick fix like we just talked about? Right. Oh, the fastest way, the fastest way, the fastest way to 20 pounds of weight loss is to do it the right way. Why is it the fastest? Because it will not come back on if you're doing it the right way. The fastest way to losing 20 pounds, your first 20 pounds, is to do so so it doesn't come back on. That's the point. And when you do, when you start the right way, when you do the dirty reps, when you actually do the consistent things that you need to do and you have the support, 
and you have the kind of community that can can come around you, especially when things don't go bad. My job is easy when things are going well for people. My job is is uh, my job when people are having a struggle. And that's the beautiful thing about having a coach to keep you on path. You bump up against the rails and you can get back on the path easy. And then the third thing is to not give up, right? There's so many people, I'm sure maybe you've even done it. If you're listening now and you've struggled with weight, you probably given up at least one, two, or maybe a dozen or more times. And you know, it's easy to give up when you're doing the wrong things, but when you're doing the right things and you're feeling the difference and you have your nutrition dialed in and you have your exercise plan that you can do that's manageable and that you're seeing visible results and you're feeling better about yourself, you're having more confidence and you're like, wow, I want more of that. And guess what? You're going to be more consistent, especially if it's simple. You could do anything, honestly, to lose weight. You could do anything to get stronger exercise wise. And I want to finish with my exercise. I'm going to do some exercise today. And I got this from my friend's house. Little, little, you remember these? Grip strength, right? How would I get better? How could I get better at grip strength? You see this? You hear a little squeak and he's a little WD-40 like my body. So how do you get how do you get better grip strength? You put in the dirty reps. Well, how did I first put in the dirty reps? I had to start. Now, I could probably only do this maybe for, I don't know, maybe a minute, like consistently for about a minute and then I'd be done. But I bet you if I put in more dirty reps, I would get a little bit better at it. And guess what? I bet you I would get a little stronger. And guess what? I'd probably feel better and have better grip strength, whatever I'd use that for. And and maybe I could do better pull-ups. And you know what? And I'd want to do it more, right? And I was like, ooh, if that's working, if it's getting me results, I'm going to do it more. So that could be the first 20 pounds for you. And then guess what? When you have some good results, it could be into the second 20 pounds, you know? I've met I've met people I've helped people that've lost up to and and onwards of 300 pounds in a year. So if if it's possible to lose 300 pounds in one year in 365 days, it's definitely possible for you to lose the 20 pounds, but I don't want you to just lose the 20 pounds. I want you to keep it off forever and I'll tell you what. Here's what it comes down to. You make choices in life. Again, you choose you choose your fitness, you choose your health, you choose the weight on your scale. You're like, "No, no, 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 you don't understand more." Yes, I do understand. I understand completely. You make choices in your life. The beautiful thing, even though maybe there's a lot of things that we don't have the choice over right now in our life, there's a lot of things that you can control. You can control, maybe you don't have that ability to yet, and that's why you might need some help. Controlling the food, you can control the choices you make in your day, you can control whether or not you exercise, you can control whether or not you let the things weigh you down and and keep you stressed out and anxious and your hormones all jacked up. Right, you can keep fear alive, and that means, guess what? When fear takes over, and then it and, and then it takes over, and it doesn't let you to have any control at all. So, my goal for you is to win in twenty twenty one. And if you want, it's a new world. You can have a new you, right? You don't have to rely on what the world says. You can have a new you, but you got to do those three simple steps. If you want help with it, this is what you need to do. If you want help, shoot me down a message. You could do it here in the comments if you want to claim it, and own it in front of the other people that are watching, or you can send me a private message. In the private message, you could just say, new me. Just private message me, new me. And I'll hop on a call with you. And if you're not aware, we also have a awesome, awesome Facebook group. And it's a free Facebook group. It's a private one. But you just got to shoot me a message if you want to get it. It's called Bulletproof Fit Christians Over 40. So why I say over 40? I typically work with men and women that are over 40 of faith. Again, you don't have to have faith to work with me. But you do have to be serious. If you do want to take your life back, if you're tired of me saying the same thing over and over again, it's maybe because you have not pulled the trigger. You've not gotten off the fence. You have not started to do the right dirty reps. You've not started to get results. And guess what? And you're still failing. You're still listening to me, realizing, yep, Mark, I started listening to you a year ago or two years ago, and I still have that same 20 pounds that I lose or I had a little success. And well, how how do you, how can you guarantee that I'm going to? Well, here's the thing. (laughs) If you do what I tell you to do, I actually personally guarantee that you get the 20 pounds off. If you have 100 pounds to lose, I can guarantee if you do the steps that I tell you the right way, And you take my guidance that you will not only get the weight off, that you'll keep it off forever. That's a pretty bold move, bold statement, right? It is. And that's the difference between half-assing it on your own or half-assing it with some crazy diet or being around a coach that has a confidence because he has years of in the trenches experience getting people results. It's simply that. That's it. That's all I get. It's not cockiness. It's just confidence. You would think after 25 years in this kind of space, helping people lose weight for over 25 years, mind you. Why am I still doing this? Well, partly it provides a living that's great. I thoroughly enjoy getting and seeing people succeed 
I don't want the enemy to take your life away from you, but I'll tell you what, if you keep struggling and you keep failing on your weight loss and you're stuck, then it's going to keep keeping you stuck, right? And that's not no way to live. So anyway, take care. God bless. Talk to you soon.